Hey guys, what's going on? I am just out for a Sunday cruise and on this uh, holiday weekend, I'm going over actually to Guitar Center because I use um, I use like this mixing board. It's like, you know, it's for, you know what's the, the funny thing about doing YouTube and stuff like that with all of the audio video equipment that you have. If somebody, if somebody actually wanted wanted to know a business that they should start would be not only advice and the knowledge of what you need and how to do it, but the actual equipment. Because nobody has that. Like, you have to go to either, you know, know what you want and go to Amazon or something like that, or go to, um, like a guitar center, you know, music type store that has equipment used in for the audio and all that for music and, and um, what am I saying, the, the state, not the stage, the sound booth, stuff like that, mixing, all that stuff. Well, you go in there and you try to tell them what you're doing, you're trying to, you know, basically audio interface with a, with a computer, they're like, oh, okay, all right, well, uh, just let me know if you need anything else, you know? They're like, all right, that's not what this stuff's used for. But there is, there's a lot of stuff you can actually use at this at the music stores to get the really good quality audio and you can go in there and, and at least talk to them about, about um, you know, like microphones and things like that. So my mixer that I use, I use a big like mixer like an engineer would use when mixing a, a track for an artist <clears throat> because you know I've got an XLR mic and it, it's just a it's a long story but it's actually required to convert and give phantom power to the mic and make the mono mic into stereo and a USB interface out to my PC and it works really well and it's worked really well for a long time it I think it's developing a little bit of a of a hiss or a hum or something I've had it maybe two plus years now I think that's pretty good two plus years is um, I'm moving the camera over here two plus years is actually a pretty good for something I leave on all the time I use every day I'm wondering if maybe there's something a little bit smaller because the because because it was so big it's funny when it comes to these mixers the bigger they are the cheaper they are you know obviously I guess that's I guess that holds true with a lot of things you know making something smaller costs money and something big and bold I'm talking about big like big bigger than a phone book big you know and people are like what's a phone book <laughs> phone books don't exist anymore Chris oh the <laughs> So I'm wondering if there's something I can get a little bit smaller because the one I have is like eight channels and I use one channel. <laughs> I was using I was using two channels before for like a specialty mic input. It's not all mic input. Some of them are for sound effects, some are for like other things. So basically, I just want something a little bit smaller and I'm wondering if maybe there's something that's digital rather than mine still got analog, you know, uh, dials on uh, there. Like trim pots and sliders, you know, analog inputs rather than digital inputs. But I think that sometimes, you know, it's like, like you say with, um, with the old vinyl records back in the day versus, uh, CDs and DVDs now where they had like the old movie film versus digital film. It has a little edginess to it. It, it adds a little bit of something. And I think that, that analog, uh, mixing boards still add a little bit of edginess to, to it versus the absolute clarity of a full digital. I'm just going to check it out there. Uh, it's actually been super nice this weekend as far as weather. All I've been doing is I've been doing a bunch of research on what's going on this year, what's going on last year, kind of looking at my trends because you know if you're not trying if you're not staying on top of your business then your business is suffering right now my business is suffering a bit but it's also a time of the year people are just coming off summer whether it's summer vacation whether it's you you were off of school whether you took time off of work but now until the the holiday season of like you know Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff it's oh I think this is where I need to go I mean Sorry, I didn't use my blinker there, Volkswagen Beetle. Little fella. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Guitar Center, that's the one. Did I say Sam Ash? I meant Guitar Center. I don't know what I said, but I'm here. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in. I'll talk to you guys when I come back out. All right. Well, that was kind of a kind of a bust. There was no. Um, they don't carry the one I bought years ago here anymore, and they kind of went exclusive to Yamaha, which is you know one brand. But I was talking to the guy in there and explaining to him what I got and what I do with it. He's like, man, you know, the one you've got is like the per mo the perfect one. You know, you can spend more money on something that does less or you can spend a lot more money on something you don't need. I'm just going to use one of the other channels that I don't, I haven't used. And hopefully that there won't be any, any interference there. I mean, it's good to know that what I have is, you know, I actually spec'd it out right and, and got the right one to begin with so i don't know let's get out of here man let's get out of here my i haven't driven off-road at all lately and the jeep is squeaking it's like i need i need to go off-road i need to get some uh get my shocks worn in or something and it's this is my seat my if you if you okay my seat is squeaking she needs some oil. Right turn only, Clyde. All right, I'll turn right. Go get a hamburger or something. Been eating too much this weekend. But yeah, you know, those holiday weekends, you're barbecuing brats and eating hot dogs and burgers and things you wouldn't normally eat like back to back to back, right? Like you might get it one time once a week or something, but not like lunch and dinner and lunch the next day by the third day you're like oh i don't feel so good i don't feel so good it's it's kind of hot in here even though it's pretty nice outside kick up that air a little bit i'm so ready to go head out to the desert and do some do some actual work in this thing that uh you guys you guys should actually get some good videos from that would be doing a lot of that dude so the the battery is actually blinking at me. This is the first time I've ever run this battery out on this thing. I usually keep it up pretty good, but I've been a little bit lazy on the charging. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today. It was just a cruise around trying to check out to see, um, again, so kind of some of the behind the scenes stuff that you always have to stay on top of these things. You have to make sure your equipment is in tip top shape, as I'm saying right now, as my battery is dying. You see what I mean? You gotta stay on top of these things. You gotta stay on top of your game. Like you said, I'm faltering a little bit but i'm doing my doing my due diligence to see what's going on try and fix the issues at hand anyway guys hope you guys are enjoying your long weekend if you're here in the states hope you're just enjoying your day if you're anywhere else in the world thanks for watching guys